All right, so this is what the display looks like. I'm going to unlock it and bring up one of those bright screens to show you the oily stains. You can see right there. And once you get that oily stain, some of you guys might not have a solution. Um, I'm going to here, like I said, I want to show you the solution. I'm going to pull this out. As you can see, it is the backlight that's actually just causing a light to shine through. And all you have is a thin... LCD, you can see my hand right through it right now. It's transparent, and what's giving it its its actual brightness is from this LED, this LED portion right here behind. So if I, if I take it out of the way, you don't see it anymore. If I put it back in, bring it close. You actually see the display right here. See. So if you have this stain, the stain is not on the LCD of the display. The touch still work, as you can tell. The only problem you have is the back right here, okay? All you have to do, you have to clean, is the back. So each strip here, you can use alcohol just to clean off the edge, take any kind of stain you have, and then this right here is, what's behind it is a, a series of LED that shines through. In the middle is a thick diffuser, okay? Uh, for an iPhone 4, I say it wouldn't be worth cleaning all these individual pieces, but for, I know how it is to find parts for an iPhone 5. For an iPhone 5, you definitely, it's probably worth your time, worth your time to go and just clean each individual layer out with a alcohol rub and assemble it back. Okay? But for an iPhone 4, or an iPhone 5, if you have the, if you do have the spare backlight, all you have to do is change off. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna use my solder iron right here. Okay, this is my soldering iron. I'm just gonna go ahead and desolder the connection. Pull out, see? Easy as that. And now stain in this area right here. I'm just going to use an alcohol wipe or Windex. Clean it off. You definitely want it really clean for this one. Alright, I'm just going to clean it a little bit because um, this is just a, a demo on how to clean the backlight. So now you have that completely dry. Okay. Just uh, rip one of these old glass display from an old iPhone. This one is an old black one right here. And then just solder right back on. You know, take the old one out. So this is a perfectly good one right here. Take piece of off right here. All right, so now. This is a a backlight unit taken from a shattered iPhone. The backlight unit is still good. So what I do is go ahead and align it here, and then I'm just gonna solder. Okay, so now just a piece of wood right here, and I'm gonna try to clean my connector here. So as you can see, I'm going to zoom in a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. All right. So I want to clean this connector, make sure all the scums are off of it, all the residue from the first display. And on the back of this one right here, I actually want to scrape. I'm going to fold this backward over here using my razor blade. 
going to scrape, expose the copper, uh, not the copper, but the solder. So I'm scraping it off slightly. Okay, now that I have the sopper, the copper exposed, I'm gonna go ahead and solder this back on. So what I do is align it in place like so. Apply my soldering iron, allow it to make connection, and that's it. Okay, so the backlight's been replaced. Okay, someone want, some of you guys want to know the strength of this of this bond. Okay, this is a, I want to go ahead and start hammering it with a pistol. This is it right here, and I want to bang the pistol against it. You see, I'm going really hard on it. You see how it holds? And I want to get, try to find an iPhone, regular i, regular glass right here. You see these? This is pretty much without my glass. This is this is the original iPhone glue. This is my glass right here. This is with the bond, as you can see, it's a lot stronger as opposed to this one right here. Totally shattered. Same force. All you have is smaller nicks where this sharp edge hits. And this is granite right here. It's a four pound piece of granite angling down so you can see how strong this thing is so my bond actually makes the glass stronger